We talked about commitment, right? On the video. We talked about commitment. So we'll go here. The first thing we'll write is just distractions. Put distractions in the orange bubble. The other side. That's commitment. That's commitment. <laughs> and then lastly, we're going to put down here success. Success. <sighs> success. You get to walk across the stage with the cap. You get to walk across the stage with the gown. You feel good. Some of y'all might do a shimmy or something. I don't know what you plan on doing when you walk across stage. That's your business, right? That's, that's on you. However, I just want us to be realistic. Because sometimes for us in our own life, we allow distractions to be bigger than our own success. What you mean, John? How do we allow distractions to be bigger than our own success? Hopping on the phone late at night talking with people who are just talking about other people. Distraction. Falling asleep during lecture when school starts. Distraction. But when there's a mentor that may try to share some wisdom with you, maybe offer you a suggestion. My dad always says advice requires permission. So one, talking to the mentors, I would suggest that you ask them first, do you mind if I speak into your life? Do you mind if I share this suggestion with you? Just a thought. You can accept it, you can reject it, it's on you. But I'm just trying to share something with you that I've learned. And then mentees, you have the opportunity to sit back and say, well, this is my first year on campus. I might not know what they're about to share with me. First, let me check to see what their GPA is. Then let me see what their major is. Maybe they might really know a little bit about what they're about to share with me. So maybe I should take time and maybe listen. Does that sound fair? Because I don't know if I would trust Bob the Builder to teach me how to speak. Because Bob the Builder, I guess he's an architect. He builds stuff. I don't know if he speaks too often. I don't know. But I might, I might get with Brother Zach in the back and say, Brother Zach, I know, I know you speak often. Brother Zach, I know you connect well with the students. And then, you know, so going, going about it that way. So that's just something to think about because when we, when we allow our distractions, somebody said negative people. I was talking with a gentleman earlier. He told me what his major was. And he said people look at him like he's crazy and they laugh. That's a distraction. In order for you to get to your success, first you have to remember What's the level of commitment that you're tied to? Because some of you in here, she said she wants to do mass communications, she said you want to do poli sci. However, there's people that's looking up to you. There's people that are expecting you to be maybe the first in your arena. They're like, but I want to see your sister on entertainment tonight. And then next thing you know, then they get their little play microphone, they get in the mirror, Dun, dun, dun. This is entertainment tonight. Da, 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 da. There are people that are counting on you that sometimes you just need to close your eyes. Stop trying to see stuff with your sight because sometimes that'll trip us up. We go look outside. We're like, oh, no, nah, I see. No, nah, it's, uh, it's snowing outside. The rain is hard. I don't feel like going to ride. I don't feel like going to class today. But sometimes if we actually take a step back and we begin to close our eyes, we can begin to see that one little girl that connects. But then you see the next young lady that connects. And then you realize that you take a step back and you inspire somebody who has the influence of a future Coretta Scott King. You began to realize, oh, wow, I didn't know I influenced somebody who could have potentially been the next president of the United States. But I was just doing what I was passionate about, right? Once we get to that level and once we began to take our passion and our desires for our own lives seriously. That's when things begin to shift. 
But I mean, it's, 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 not even, it's not even about that. It's just understanding that if I share something with you today, and then you take that information, you write it down, and then you apply it into your life somewhere, and then you're able to yield success from it, and then you turn around and do it for the next generation. Mentors, I share something with you, you turn around, boom, you reinforce it to them, and then they come back next year, boom, and they're mentoring somebody else. Then we create a cycle and we create a culture of not just excellence, 